mighty miracle of the living God, we need to follow his instruction. Whatever the word, has, the word the Lord has given unto us must be followed and when we do, when we carry out divine instruction, our steps is ordered. And I pray today, may God order our steps in the name of Jesus. May God order your steps in the mighty name of Jesus. Obedience is the key to unusual miracle. Unusual miracle will happen in every single person's life in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the unusual miracles that will happen is that I pray that mothers all over the world, especially mothers in Cleveland here, God is going to glorify himself beyond your expectation, beyond the expectation of people around you, beyond the expectation of even the enemy. God is going to glorify himself in your life. You will live to see your children's children. You will live to see the success of your children's children. You will eat the fruit of your labor and it shall be well with you. May God lift you up when it is time for you to start enjoying the fruit of your labor. Nothing will cut you off. Most Others are great people. I declare today that the anointing of greatness will continue to increase upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Mothers are, are a good example of obedience. They always obey the word of God and encourage even others to obey. Obedience is the key to unusual miracle. Do you want to experience the mighty miracle of the living God? Just follow what the instruction of the word of God says and it shall be well with us. Let's look at this scripture as we are going. I lay a foundation today on Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come unto me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. May God release rest upon our life. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. He didn't say, I don't have yoke. When you follow the Lord, when you obey the instruction of the living God, there are still principles, there are guidance, there is word that we have to follow. That's self-discipline. Hallelujah. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. When you learn from the Almighty God, it guarantees rest. I decree today, the heart of learning will rest upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, for my yoke is easy and my body is light. Hallelujah. Let's look at First Peter chapter 1, verse 14. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you have you had when you live in it. Ignorance. But just as he who calls you is holy, so be holy in all you do. That is instruction. And that is what he wants us to do. Hallelujah. For it is written, be ye holy because I am holy. I pray today, anointing for holiness will rest upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 59, the Bible says, I have, con I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your status. I will haste and not delay to obey your command. Obedience is a center point this morning. Obedience to the word of God. Obedience to the instruction 
instruction of the living God. When you follow the word of God, you will, you will receive the reward of the obedience. May the Lord bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at Psalm 119 verse 133. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. When you obey the word of God, he is going to order your steps and it's, the, the power of sin will not rule over us. Praise God. So every Adamic nature I cancel it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Psalm 34. 37 verse 23, the Bible says, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. The one delights here means who obeys him. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Hallelujah. If you are the obedient of the Lord, he is going to uphold you. Even in the day of disaster, he will protect you. Even in the day of storm, he will guide you. May the almighty God release his anointing for obedience upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11 saying? I pray this for you today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will guide you always. Can I hear amen? amen. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in the sun's scorched land. And he will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden. Can I hear your amen? You will be like a well-watered garden. A well-watered garden is always very blossom and it's always... It's always blooming. It's always wonderful. It's always beautiful to look at. Your, your beauty will never fade away. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. You will never fail. Your supply will never fail. Obedience can do this for you. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 12, let's go. You will, you, your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundation. Hallelujah. Every fences that has been broken, God is going to rebuild it. You will be called repairer of broken walls. Hallelujah. When you obey the word of God, it gives you instruction and you become a solution to other people's problem. Praise the Lord. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare today, anointing to obey the Lord will rest upon us. As I chapter 1 verse 19, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Church, I see there is good in the land and you will eat it. A time is coming. A time of celebration is coming. The time of, pan of, of panic is going over. Praise the Lord. The time of the pandemic is over in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak prophetically this morning. This thing, this problem, this raging storm will become history in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will live to tell the testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare today, I declare today in every nook and corner of your family, there will be no disaster. And I hear your amen. I say there will be no disaster. I am talking about obedience today. What is the instruction of the word of God to you? What has he told you to do? What is the Bible commanding us to do? If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. There is a condition for eating the good of the land. There is a condition for becoming what you want to become on earth. There is a condition for you being called the obedient of the Lord. It is only those who carry out the divine instruction that are called the obedient of the Lord. Hallelujah. Who are the people that will be raptured when the when the when the sound of the trump archangel sound it is the obedient of the Lord. Who are the people that will be that will be welcomed into the kingdom of God when they when when when, when the time comes when the Lord returns they are the obedient of the God of, of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The disobedient are, are rebels and they will not be accepted into the holy place. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 119, I read again. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. So now, the condition for eating the good of the land here is not based on 1,000 days of fasting. It's not based on 1,000 hours of non-stop prayer. It is based on obedience. If you pray in disobedience, you may not get answer. If you fast in disobedience, you may not get answer. When your life is not commensurate with the word of God, you may not get get answer. But I speak today in the mighty name of Jesus. May you live obedient life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray to God always to help me, to empower me, to obey the word of God. Praise the Lord. 
absolute obedience to God's instruction will position you for unusual miracle. How many of us are ready for unusual miracle today? Praise the Lord. And to everybody watching online, may the Lord bless you. Unusual miracle will follow your absolute obedience to God's instruction. Praise God. When God gives instruction, don't negotiate it. God, uh, what if I do it this way? <clears throat> Whatever he says, we must do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to look into the scripture this morning. I need somebody to read into the microphone quickly and loud. Uh, let's go to 1 Kings 17 from verse 1 to 6. The scripture here, the scripture here tells us about the obedience of Elijah. We knew what happened. It's a common story that you all know. Elijah and the, and the ravens. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Elijah and the ravens. I speak to you today. The ravens are coming. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Who are these ravens? People you don't know will serve you. Hey, people you have not known will serve you. Amen. As soon as they hear of you, they shall obey. Amen. Strangers will submit themselves Amen. unto you. I say, tell your neighbor, the ravens are coming. Ravens are a kind of birds that could not even take care of their young. Even the young Born by ravens, we have to fend for itself. Unlike other birds. So greedy and self-centered bird. Can you see God? That is the kind of bird that God chose to go and feed somebody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That means there are some people you never expect to be, could be a blessing to you. And God is about to use them. Amen. Well, they will face you and tell you, well, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this because I like you. I don't know you and I don't want to know you. But I have to do this because the power that be, the almighty God, is using them. There are some people who never show mercy to others, but they are bringing mercy to you. Amen. Amen. Watch it from this morning. Mercy will begin to knock at your door. Amen. You are just sitting down at home. Can you, can you see that? And bless the people you don't ever expect to see in your life. And they are they just knocking your door saying, I just come to be a blessing unto you. Praise the Lord. Faith for you don't expect. You don't even anticipate it's coming to you. Amen. I see blessing coming to Amen. you. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and has no sorrow. Praise the Lord. On this special day, on this Mother's Day, I declare today, faith for you didn't labor for, we come to you. I say faith for you did not labor for, is coming. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. But I have discovered that at the time God, whenever you see God walking like this, there is an instruction that follows it. There is a particular location for your allocation. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But if you miss the spot, the blessing won't come to you in the place of disobedience. If you are not where you're supposed to be at a particular time when the, when the unusual miracle has been programmed to happen to you, you can miss it. When God's instruction was given to Abraham, he said, you take your son whom you love. Go into the regions of Moriah. Go into the regions of Moriah to a mountain that I will show you. He didn't give him the total revelation at the same time. When you go, to, after three days, they got to the region. And God now showed him. When you obey God to a particular level where he has shown you, then he will, he, he will give you another instruction. So if you have not completed the one he gave you yesterday, you are, and you are expecting another one. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. So when Abraham got there, God now showed him the particular mountain. God told him, go to mountain of what? Remind me, mountain of what? Go to your Moriah, praise the Lord. If he had gone to Mount Everett, if he had gone to mountain Kilimanjaro, even if he had gone to Mount Sinai, he would have missed it. Praise the Lord. Your location will meet, your allocation will meet you at your location. Did you get that? Did you get that? Praise the Lord. Whenever God gives instructions, I'm talking about obedience today. He has called us that we should come unto him. 
If you are heavy laden, God says, I want to give you my own yoke. It is, my burden is light. He says, come unto me. He says, come out of darkness. Come out of, come out of obscurity. God is calling everybody today. Let's come back to the almighty God. Even if you have messed up, your, 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 the, the Lord God you are serving will give you a message that will turn your mess to mercy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, we all know what happened here when Elijah, the man of God, declared the word of God and the whole nation was under it. Praise the Lord. And there was no rain and there was terrible famine everywhere. And then the people were looking for him and God gave him an instruction. God was ready to, to carry out the instruction, the, the decree of Elijah, and God was also ready to feed him. Praise the Lord. First Kings chapter 17, begin to read from verse 1 to 6. The one word I want, the key word here is go and hide by the brook Cherith. And so he went obedience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He wasn't telling God, but you know, I, 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 I can fly. I can fly. You know, I'm a man with power. I'm a man, very, very powerful man. We, we know. Praise the Lord. But he did not. He did not say. He did not compromise the fine instruction. God knows when he's going to bless you. God knows how he wants to answer you. Just follow the instruction of the Lord. Because if you go to where God didn't ask you to go, there will be no grace to sustain you there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's begin to read from verse 1. First in chapter 17, let's go. And Elijah, the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead, That's right. said to her, as the Lord God of Israel lives, as the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, whom I stand yes. there shall not be due nor rain this year. There shall not be due nor rain this year. Except at my word. According to my word. You are a man. Elijah was a man of like person, just like you. So it simply means if you obey God, if you serve God with all your strength, you will decree a thing and it shall be established. Hallelujah. If Elijah could stop the manifestation of rain for three and a half years, so also you can stop the manifestation of the enemies in your life, can't you? Praise the Lord. Let's read and watch this. Obedience. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherry. Praise the Lord. Which flows into the Jordan. Get away from here and turn eastward and hide yourself. Hide yourself. At the brook Cherith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read for that. Watch this. Read on. Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He went. And did according to the word of the Lord. Many a times when we pray into God, instruction comes, but you still want to bend it a little bit just to suit your purpose. You have not given absolute obedience. Praise the Lord. And our answer lies within absolute obedience to the word of God. Praise the Lord. I want us to look at this word, Cherith. Every single person at a point in time in your lifetime, you have a period of Cherith experience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The word Cherith means cut off. That is an, is an Hebrew word, which means cut off or cut down. To engrave or carve, a cutting or a separation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now at that time, God told Elijah, Go and hide yourself. Did you hear that? Go and hide yourself. This was a man who stood in front in front of Ahab and he commanded us, the Lord live before whom I stand. Hear me, Ahab. There shall be no rain. Because you people, you have, you, have, you, you have disappointed the instruction of the living God. You have disobeyed the instruction of the living God. You have ignored his, 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 his statutes. Therefore, there shall be no rain. When there is no rain, there will be famine. He was telling the king like that. Praise the Lord. 
And immediately heaven respected the word of Elijah. May the word that comes out of your mouth be respected by heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you decree, it shall be established. You have to be in a kind of standing before the Lord. Because if you obey God's instruction, why will God not obey your own to praise the Lord? Elijah said, let it be according to my word. And so also you have the power to say, nobody within the family will uproot my glory in the name of Jesus. And let it be with, let it be according to my word. I declare that my sons, my children are for signs and wonders. And let it be according to my word. I declare that I'm not a failure. I will be a success. And let it be according to my word. You have to be in a relationship of obedience so that God will carry out whatever you decree in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So God gave him instruction. He was the one who stopped the rain. And God made an alternative arrangement for him. Praise the Lord. God hides his people for different reasons. Praise God. God hides his people from disaster. Psalm 17 verse 8. Keep me as the apple of your eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who are out to destroy me. From my mortal enemies who surround me. When, when, when the enemy surrounds you, God can hide you away from them. Praise the Lord. The reason why you are able, you are going and you are coming and there is nothing the enemy can do is because God hides you. They didn't see you. They cannot see you. They didn't know your hideout. They didn't know what covers you. They didn't know the power. Several thousand times they have tried you, but they keep on failing every day because God hides you. God hides you, protects you. Oh, he protects you. No evil shall be for you. The sun shall not smite you by the day, nor the moon by the night because God hides you. When God protects you, you can be walking in front of the worst enemy and they can do you nothing. There are some people who will never be happy one day because of you. Why? Because God will not stop blessing you and as God is blessing you and they have nothing to do about that, they are sad and sad every day. I decree today, I decree today, may your enemy not rejoice over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's look at Psalm 27 verse 5. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. God hide, hide his people from trouble. Praise the Lord. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me eye upon the rock. May God set you eye upon the rock. May God hide you in the mighty name of Jesus. Then verse 6, then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. God will lift up your head. When you are under the divine protection of the living God, he lifts up the head of his people. At the sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Seasons and reasons of thanksgiving will never stop in your life. Let's look at Psalm 32 verse 7. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Who is our hiding place? Jesus. Who is our hiding place? The almighty God, he will continue to protect you. Praise the Lord. God is going to protect all of us. We are celebrating Mother's Day today. By the time we are celebrating Mother's Day, again, it's going to be another season of testimony for you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know Psalm 64, verse 2, 3, 4. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked. God hides his people when he sees the enemy conspiring against him or her. God hides his people from the conspiracy of the wicked. Let them speak the word. The Bible says, associate yourself together. You shall be scattered. That is, that is what the Lord is doing in here. He says, speak the word. It shall not stand because the Lord God is, is, is with us. No weapon form against you shall prosper. And every tongue, every tongue, every tongue, I mean, as I mean, four verse 17, every tongue that rests against you in judgment, you will condemn them. Praise the Lord. They cannot get you away because you are, you are hiding at the cleft of the rock. Christ is the rock. And nobody can get you out of the rock. Let the enemies rise up 10,000 times. They are going to run away millions of times in the name of Jesus. Since you were born, they, have been, they are trying. Up till now, they have never succeeded. And they will never succeed in your life. The sun shall not smite you by the day, nor the moon by the night. Those who are expecting to hear the news of disaster, but you have failed. They will never hear it because you are not going to fail. They are 
there is no disaster, there is no adversary in the mighty name of Jesus. But now, the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There shall be no disaster, there is no adversary. All the adversaries of the Lord has been broken into pieces. Come on, let's praise him, for he is the almighty God. Bless him, bless him, children of God. He is the almighty God, the Lord God is fighting our battle for us. Somebody shall fire! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hide me. What? Look, look at that prayer. Hide me. God hides his people. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked. From the plots of evildoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent who don't even know anything about what they are saying. And the innocent, they shoot suddenly without fear. God, only God hides. Because it, it is the person that is trailing you that really knows your movement, but you don't know who is at the back. So it is God that protects his people. It is the almighty God that is protecting us. Even when you are sleeping, you don't know what's going on in the air. It is God. That's why David says, I lay me down and I awoke. For the Lord sustain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God didn't sustain, you cannot sustain yourself for one second. Our life is a gift from the Almighty God. Yes. And the control of it is not in the hand of the wicked. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God hide his own people. He hide them from the destru destruction of the wicked. Can you, now look at, look at what happened to Elijah. God told him, go and hide yourself. I told you what the word what cherry means, separation. Separate yourself in a corner. Now, this is the question. God knows how to make Elijah stand continually before Ahab and there's nothing Ahab will do, isn't it? He can't do anything. And I want you to know that at this time, that was the time the, the, the ministry of Elijah was about to blow out. Because this is the first time he gave that, that, that prophetic instruction that there shall be no rain. And truly, there was no rain. So everybody, everybody was waiting to hear from the man of God. Praise the Lord. Some were looking for him to destroy him. They want to kill him because, okay, Elijah, you are the one who put us in this trouble. We are going to, we're going to kill you. Ahab was number one who wanted to destroy this man. Remember how he, how he wanted to, to, to kill him. But the same God who told him to go and hide at Brook Cherith, the same God, after three years, told Elijah, go and show yourself to Ahab. He did not show himself standing because he has power. He did not show himself to Ahab against the time God programmed. He didn't do that. He waited for the time of God. So this simply means God can even hide you. He can hide you even from the work he wanted you to do for him. Because it was time of Elijah to blow out in his ministry. He, he, has, started, he has started gathering momentum. Fame was already coming and God instructed him, hide yourself. Isolation, self-isolation is not just starting. Well, at the time of Elijah, it wasn't a, a question of coronavirus, but it was a, a, a question of human virus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, God told Elijah, self-isolate. In Cherith, there was no city there, no, nobody there. Can you imagine a man of God who has prepared himself, a great prophet, already known, he has given a global national, national prophecy and is working on everywhere. He, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big time to start his fame and his ministry. And he was unable to minister to anybody except two people, the, the widow of Saribat and her son. For three years, God upheld his ministry. For three years, God upheld his prophetic declaration. He wasn't speaking to nobody. He was there all alone. Praise the Lord. The only companion the great, this great man of God had at that time was birds. 
deliverance. And God, God told him, and it is not the time of fasting for you, son. He wasn't fasting for three years. Can you imagine that? I'm not saying you should cancel your fasting tomorrow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. He wasn't fasting for three years. What, how do I know this? Because the Bible says the ravens were bringing food in the morning and in the evening. So he was eating two times a day. If the raven have been bringing food at 6 p.m., we we'll know that he's fasting every day. Now watch this. God said, you're going to hide yourself. Please don't show up when it is time to hide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is the problem we have. And everybody, whether you are Elijah or, 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 or Deborah or whatever, you have a cherished experience you will go through. Do not say, what about, what about the, many pastors, many evangelists, many leaders, when you think, oh, this is the time, our ministry is about to do it. And for God's own reason, uphold and draw you back a little bit and hide you in jail. It's a time when God hides his people from trouble. If God knows that your spiritual power is not going to be enough to, to withstand the envy, if you should come out at that time, he hides you a little bit. And you think God is not answering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every single person you, 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 you have to be in your chariot one time or the other. Yes, Elijah was in ease. And the, and, and the power of the living God was there with him. Receiving from God always food in the morning, food in the evening. Now God said the miraculous will come. This chariot is a place in your life where God combines both the, the miraculous with the, with the natural to solve your problem. Well, the food, the bringing of the food by the raven, isn't that miraculous? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where else did you see it happen? Excuse me, a people you have not known will begin to serve you. Amen. Now, the natural that is combined with this is God said, but you will drink from the brook. That one is natural, isn't it? A, a, a chariot experience is a time when God sustains you temporarily in a place for some evil to pass over. Oh Lord, you didn't get this. If Elijah had been showing here and there that time, maybe they would have killed him. God told him, God, God told him, hide yourself. The problem we have today, when God puts you in your chariot, thank God for your Galaxy telephone, thank God for your iPhone 17 or 27, thank God for everything you carry in your hand. Hey, you are in chariot and you are carrying the, uh, everybody. Hey, everybody, my friend, what's up, God? Oh, everybody on social network, everybody, see me, see my new arrival. Everything, what you don't even have, you are making mouth that you say, well, packaging, Lord, I hear you. We are packaging everything. You are packaging everything. You don't know, and you spread, you send everything to Instagram, you send everything, you are sending, you are in jail, and you are announcing yourself outside there, you are giving the enemy, you are giving the enemy the map on how to get you. Stop this nonsense. Get out of it. Because you have take your picture yourself. This is me. This is what we are doing here. Shut up. This is what I have achieved this week in Jerry. People are looking for you and they didn't know where you are. Now you have explained to them how to get you. Don't you know that God has a reason for keeping you where he kept you? It is a cherry experience for many of us to be in London today. Maybe God brought you here to hide you, to prepare you for where he's taking you. When you're supposed to be there, everybody you carry, everybody say this, this social network has destroyed so many mm. things. Mm. Must you put everything on on, 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 on the social on the social media? Must everybody knows about your latest attire? Must everybody know about everything you are doing? Mm. Apart from work, apart from the business you want to sell, come and keep yourself. Why, why do you have to, why, why do everybody, do you think everybody likes you? 
I've heard of different kind of things on post and, and different news that so many people, they get connected with some people on the internet and they kill them. Yes, because they, they withdrew themselves from the protection of the living God. There is more harm than good in this social network. Be careful how you protect yourself, especially when God is making you. Why wouldn't you allow God to finish with what he's doing and then let him announce you? If you announce yourself before the time, you will be shut down to obscurity again. I hope I'm addressing somebody this morning. God wants us to grow mature. The reason why you are in Chile is a period of incubation. Where did you see the mother and the baby lying down together in one incubator? It's the baby, isn't it? Yes. So that is where you are right now. God says, I want to make you. I have answered your prayer. I am going to, I'm, I'm going to let every member of your family know that you are serving a great God. But hide yourself in chariot now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Something happening there. Hallelujah. I want to ask you to take us to verse 7. Something happened in there. Excuse me. It was, God has the power. Read verse 7, please. And it happened after a while. It happens after a while. That the brook dried up. Hold it. God says, you will drink from the brook. Therefore, he did not command the raven to bring water. And now verse 7, the Bible says, and after a while, the brook dried up. Remember, there, there was no rain. And the brook is just a, a place of little water. And it dried up. Praise the Lord. Whenever something comes into your life, when you are enjoying it, thank God, but don't rely on it. An opportunity comes your way. And it suits you so much. Thank God for it, but don't rely on it. It may be a temporary measure. There are some blessings that, not, that comes our way and we, because we enjoy it, we want to sit down relaxing on it. What if it stops abruptly? Somebody who is a blessing to you today may be a brook that will dry so soon. Somebody who, who is being used to open a door for you today, yes, thank God for that, but don't rely on that opportunity because it has come there for a moment. We always don't want the people, situation or circumstances that God is using naturally to solve our momentary need. We don't want them to come to an end because you get used to it immediately. It may be a source of finance, it may be a source of friendship. It may be a divine connection. If it is your brook, it is going to dry. Everybody hear me very well. When somebody who has been a blessing to you suddenly stop and couldn't do you any help anymore, don't turn them to an enemy. It is a brook that has just You have to identify that the time of that help is finished. Then turn to God and not to man. Whether you like it or not, not all helpers will stand with you to the end. Some people have a particular moment in your life. The moment they finish, don't turn them to enemy when they turn their back to you. Talk to God. There is a better arrangement. If anybody tells you, without me, I have your life wire. Without me, you cannot breathe. Tell them thank you, but turn to God. But if you are holding on to a dry brook, when you are holding on to a natural blessing that has expired, you will not be inspired to look up unto God and you will be crying there, oh God, answer me. Grace has moved away. 
away from where you are standing. And if the grace of God is not there for you, this grace is imminent. And after a while, the brook dried. Not that the person has just developed sudden hatred for you. No. And that is the reason why he's no longer helping you. No. Maybe God and providence has stunned that person to another people at that particular time. Don't look at yourself, hey, is he not going to help me again? God has something greater for you. Please get me clear this morning. God is always planning ahead for his people. Recognize the presence of God. Obey the instruction of the living God. But Elijah did not say, if I shut down heaven, I can command this brook to bring forth water. And this brook will bring forth water. Let me tell you what happened. The moment the brook dried, watch this, the ravens stopped coming. So Elijah waited in the morning. After the Lord has instructed, read the next line. Watch this. Then the Listen. word of the Lord came to him. And the word of the Lord came to louder, please. The word of the Lord came to him. Yes. Saying, See. Arise. Arise. Go to Sarephath. Go to Sarephath. Which belongs to Sidon. Uh -huh. And dwell there. That is where I want you to dwell, okay? See, I have commanded a widow uh -huh. there to provide for you. Hold it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He told him in verse 1 to 6, go and hide yourself. Go and hide yourself. It's different from go to Sarifat and dwell. Go to Sarifat and dwell. Where you are dwelling is a home. But your, where you are hiding is a temporary measure. Are you getting something? It simply means I have prepared a home for you there. There you are going to be dwelling. You are going to be living there. You can spend as long as you want in a dwelling place. Praise the Lord. In a dwelling place, there is a shelter. At Cherith, there is a hideout, no home. In a dwelling place, there is protection and the house. You see people you talk to in the house, in, the, in your chair, there is isolation, no body. Do you see the difference now? And either you like it or not, you can never replace your chariot with salivat. No. Before you experience the dwelling in salivat, you will pass the test of chariot first. Am I talking to somebody? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Obedience. Obedience. Why did Elijah not say, no, 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 I, proper cook, I speak to you. You broke. Don't mind what God is saying. I command you. Let it be according to my, nothing will happen. Now, the moment God said, arise, go to Sarebat. There's a widow there. He did not even prepare somebody in the palace. A widow who had little, just little to eat and die. God was ready to, be, to, to bless the widow. So that the widow will not eat and die. But the widow also has to do what? Obey first. That's it. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have commanded the widow. Excuse me. When God is speaking to you to go and do something good, it is not the devil. So some people say, well, maybe this is the devil. Anything that because it costs, it's going to cost you money or cost you time. Nah, no, that's not God. It is God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't ever try to jump the queue. You can never get to Sarifat without branching at your cherry. And guess how long he spent at cherry? Can you tell me? Three years. In isolation, a great prophet. Maybe you are a pastor hearing me today. 
And then you believe the ministry is going on everything. Everything is blossom, everything is so wonderful. All of a sudden you just discover that you find yourself in jail. I have been there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have been there. Every single person will be there. When God calls you for an assignment, he takes you through everything. Praise the Lord. Sarifat is a place where there is going to be unlimited opportunity. But before you get there, learn how to obey God when there is nothing. God will always bring the supernatural with the natural. The raven's food is the supernatural. How can, if not for the miracle, your usual miracle, how can ordinary birds know where you are hiding? And they bring, it, they bring food for you in the morning, in the evening, in the morning, in the evening for three good years. And he could not go anywhere. No social life. Tell me, did you see Elijah on Instagram that time? Did you, did you tell me, tell, tell me what you read about him on, on your Facebook, on everything, everything, all the social media, he, was, he wasn't doing that. He must not be seen by nobody. The king wanted to kill him. People didn't like him. Some want him to come and prophesy into their life. Some want to, to, to fake that they love him so he can come to them so that he can, they can take him and kill him. Different kinds of things can happen. Not everybody that smiles when you, when you speak actually mean it. But when you obey God, he makes you to hide. That's why he told the, the disciples, you sit here in Jerusalem till I make your enemy your first tool. Hide here before you go out. Before you begin to show yourself within the family as the richest person within the family, as the most similar person within the family. Before you begin to sell yourself out on your phone, stay enough time in your chariot. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now, I want you to read the next verse. Let's go quickly. I want to pray. So he arose and went to Sarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering sticks, and he called to her and said, Bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. Uh -huh. And as she was going to get it, uh -huh. he called to her and said, uh -huh. Please bring me a muscle of bread in your hand. <laughs> so she said, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread, wow. only a handful of flour uh -huh. in a bin. And a little oil in a jar. If any pastor tries that this day, within two hours it will go viral. <laughs> it will go viral. You will see everybody begin to read. Hey, this pastor now, wow, that's how they are going to start. Hey, he's asking me to bring the only food remaining in my house. How can I do that? Is this not the man that caused trouble and you want me to bring food now? Both Elijah and the widow of Sarivat needed something spectacular from God and they need to demonstrate obedience. Now, Elijah's obedience is go to Sarivat. He didn't question God, why do you, why, where do you think a widow will have food? God knew that this woman had a little morsel in, in, in her home and she's going to eat one time and die. God knew before he said, I have commanded. Help is coming to you, but you cannot map out to God how he should help you. Blessing will come to you, but it is not from those you are expecting. Favor will come to you. It is not going to come from those you have helped in the past. Who you think suppose this is their own time to come and pay me back? No. No man can pay you back but God. That is why the person that offends you today can defend you tomorrow. Don't underrate anybody. God can use Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For Elijah, widow would have been the least expected. But God said, go to Sarephath. He didn't say go to the palace of the king. 
go to Sarifa. I have prepared the widow and he got there. He, he carried out his own obedience by doing what? By going. So he got there and the, and the widow woman was gathering the sticks so that she can cook and die. Look at that. The woman was going to prepare to eat and die. He will eat and live. Amen. And she did not know that a source of uh, becoming a millionaire has just arrived. A source of joy, fame, what we make are recorded in the Bible as we read today, has just arrived. All what she needed to do was obey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Elijah said, woman, go and give me some water. Remember, the brook was dried up and he has been thirsty for the journey. Give me water first. And the woman was going to, he did not even introduce himself. He didn't. Elijah did not introduce himself. Excuse me, when the grace of God is upon you, you don't need to tell people, you don't know who I am. Have you not been hearing? No, 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 no. Let God work wonders and people will know who you are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He did not introduce himself. Madam, go and give me some water. And the woman was going to them and said, hey, stop. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to ask you to bring me some uh, what's it? Some bread. Get me, go, go, get me some some bread, or just try and put some uh, yam flour together, or pandu, or you just just prepare it and then bring it to me. Just put saki, put bokoto, put put everything. The woman said, "What are you saying? Eh? <laughs> this little thing I have, I just want to eat and die. You will not eat and die." <laughs> Why do you think woman, not that the woman actually wanted to die, no, but because that is the last hope. And she believed that hunger can kill. But she did not know that the grace of God was upon the person standing before him. So the man has carried out his obedience by coming to her. So now, the presence of Elijah in her house is to bring out fortune. Praise the Lord. Yeah. There are some things. We want God to, to tell us what he will do before we obey him. No. God, if you do this for me, I will, do, I will praise you. <clears throat> you praise God unconditionally. Praise the Lord. So the woman said, this is the little thing we have. Say, okay, just go and do what I ask you to do first. Watch that. He can, yeah, which pastor can do that to eh? And I ask you to stand up right now and I say, um, I want you to go. Listen, he has not said, God asked me to tell you. Mm -hmm. The man did not even know he was a prophet. He didn't say, yes, mm, yes. Mm. Mm. Then he, the woman would have said, I perceive you are a prophet. Mm. He didn't say that. He said, give me food. There's no speaking in tongues and give me food. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know that this woman who wanted to eat and die obeyed? It's a terrible obedience. That's a terrible obedience. He didn't abuse the man of God. Uh -uh, he didn't say that. You see? Even if God says it today, that you tell some people, say, what you are praying for, the Lord has answered you. What you need to go and do right now is take a, a particular amount that will move you. Go and give it to God. Ah. When it comes to that, ah, this man is not in the spirit again. Because if it is not, if it is not, if it, if it is not the fear of God in that woman, eh, how can somebody ask you to serve him first the food you want to eat? And there is no one, nothing after that to eat. Is anybody here who can do that? Even if God tells you, eh, empty your account for the Lord. Not even pastor. You, you sleeping, you hear it. You, will, you, you are going to, in fact, you won't tell anybody about it. You just say, I rebuke you, Sammy Satan. I rebuke you, Satan. That is what you're going to say. Is, is it? Excuse me. God can test you when he's ready to bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so the woman obeyed. Today is Mother's Day. The woman, the one, obeyed. I knew what would be going on in the heart of that, that woman. She prepared the food. Elijah sat down. 
to the stockfish, the salmon, everything. Ate everything. And the woman was doing like this. The woman was waiting. Okay, I'll, I'll, you have eaten, you have finished the food now. You, you and I will be here today. <laughs> what, whatever you want me to eat. But hear the word of God. This is where the woman knew who he was. Go and do what I have told you first. For thus says the Lord God of hosts. That cruise of oil will never be spent out. And the, and, the, and, and, and the cruise of your of your of your of your food, your meal, your wheat will never dry out until there's a condition again. Until God brings rain upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's not even enough for the woman to obey. Because I didn't know you. I don't know you. I don't know where you're coming from. You can't just make mouth to me and then take my food and then run away. But Elijah has been told, I have prepared a dwelling place for you. The woman and her, and her son was alone there. A widow woman who's supposed to be cared for. So God now brought his presence into the home of somebody who will obey him. You can never be alone if you are obedient to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, and the Bible says, the woman obeyed, I decree today, the spirit of obedience will rest upon you. Many a time, the spirit of the Lord has been ministering to us all here. Did you obey? This is what I want you to do for social pressure. This is what I want you to do for the church. This is what I want you to do for the church. Even concerning your tithes and offering, did you obey? Many of us don't. The woman gave everything that she made in her life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And guess what happened? She became the wealthiest person in that region, in the whole nation. How did I know this? When they eat the food today, before the morning tomorrow, everywhere is filled up. Every jar. So the woman started putting little, little of it into different kinds of jars, and in the morning, it's all filled. When the news went around that there's food somewhere, people were coming, queuing, even from the palace. They were queuing to buy, and she enjoyed the monopoly of trade, because she has the right to sell at whatever price, because there's no market anywhere else. God is bringing the source, the fountain, the source of blessing to somebody's house today, that when you, you when you use it, you spend it, you spend it, instead of it to diminish, it's going to increase in the name of Jesus. I see faith for coming your way in the, in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord bless you. May God bless your life. God says when you obey, when you obey the word of the Lord, you will eat the good of the land. Spirit of obedience will rest upon us in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I declare today as you rise up on your feet, I declare today that you will not experience disaster, you will not experience hardship, you will not experience farming, spiritual farming will not come to you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. While the old nation was suffering, hmm? the old nation was suffering. This woman was, a, was enjoying paradise on earth. Just one, one obedience. She cooked the food for the man of God. And that's all. The oil we stand for the anointing. Continue to increase. Your anointing will increase. Amen. Your source of supply will flow. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Ghost. What is it you are trusting God for? Carry out the instruction of the Lord. What are those things you have been praying God to give to you? The woman was waiting to eat the last meal and die, and God brought unstoppable favor, unending favor. From that day, there was no question of dying anymore. If anybody had told that woman, would you like to eat and die? She would say, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. The time is here. Those who have been waiting for you to fall, they will be disgraced totally. Yeah. 
then we be dismissed totally. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Those who have been waiting in the corner, waiting to hear the time the woman and, and, her, and her son will die, they are now put to shame because they have to come back hiding their, their face to come and borrow food there. The same thing is happening this morning. Those who have been waiting for the announcement of your downfall, God is going to bring them down. They are coming down to lick the dust of your feet in the name of Jesus because you shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Children of the Most High God, which you obey God, what is the instruction of the living God? How are you handling his service people before him? How do you, what kind of intimacy do you have? Do you maintain before the Lord? The moment that woman observed that this is a man of God, she quickly took him in and prepared a room for him and said, man of God, you don't have to go. This is your home right now because he knows somebody who did this. I will continue to feed that person so that I will continue to be blessed. Every morning she, she begins to, to cook for Elijah and Elijah continues to pronounce blessing. Yes. Hallelujah. Excuse me, in the presence of God we forever be with you and bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is your service to the king? What is your service to the Lord? What is your service even to the man of God? This is important. This is important in our life. And God, when God sends a prophet into your life, I am not talking about it. Something is happening these days. Something is happening. There are so many prophetic others. They are hawking all around, phoning people, and, and creating, they will, they will create an account somewhere and ask you to go and deposit money there because some brethren are praying for you on the mountain. They create, they are going to create even night video. They will create night video. They want you to join online and after that go and pay. It's all right, it's all right. Praise the Lord. What is important is your personal relationship with the Almighty God. I don't care, I don't care whether, whether, uh, prayer, you know when it is prayer, I, I, I am not greedy about it, I want, I want everybody to pray, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. praise the Lord, but there, there is no, there is no price on our prayer, co on, 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 on prayer point here, there is no price, has there have been any price at all, oh. uh -huh. so in some places they may sell it for 50 pounds for you, one prayer point 50 pounds, if you buy a dozen you are in trouble, <laughs> <laughs> praise the Lord, praise. when you obey God and serve God and follow God, excuse me, there is a blessing in the life of the man of God that is pronouncing upon your life, praise the Lord. She told, he told the woman, until the day that rain will come. Watch that. The day, don't forget this, the day the Lord told him, get out of here. Go to Sarifa. In the morning, after God had spoken, Elijah was waiting. He wanted to eat the food in the morning before he starts traveling. The raven did not come. Because the raven has finished the assignment. Don't forget that point, very, very crucial. Don't super glue your life to the waters that you enjoy from your brook. It will soon dry. And the moment it dries up, don't start digging the, the brook. You cannot get water there. Because the time for that to supply you is over. Then move on. Praise the Lord. Do not experience, do not expect to experience your salivate at Cherry. It's not possible. They are two different things. A place where God hides you even from the work you must do for him. A place where he hides you for your enemies to, to, to pass over. A place, you see, when, when I read the scripture, see, I, I question myself at times. This God is so deep. In the, in, the, in the middle of the night, the angel came and told Joseph, carry the baby, run this night to Egypt, for Herod will look for the boy to kill him. So are you telling me God is not powerful and is afraid of Herod? Or God cannot turn Herod to rock where he's, he's sitting there? Can he not do it? If you know that you are strong, be diplomatic about it. He that fights and runs lives to fight another day. Praise the Lord. So God can produce for Elijah. He can, you know, I've asked myself question, how, how did the raven get the food? Who roasted the meat for them? Who baked the bread for them? 
This greedy bird cannot give their young anything. How can they? How did they know where Elijah was hiding? Because when you are hiding, you are in a place where people cannot see through their face. Isolation is not just starting now. They tell you to self isolate and your mom. Elijah did it. No, <laughs> do this thing. It's too boring. It's too boring. Ah! Elijah's lockdown was three years. Have you spent three years? Eh? And in this lockdown, before the brook dries in one corner, God opens another. Is he not providing for you? Is he not supplying your food? Even if you don't buy clothes in the next four years, what you have in your world will come to this. Thank God there are no parties. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Praise the Lord. So lockdown has been there. Long time. Learn whatever he wants you to learn at your secluded place. At the time of your isolation, get close to God. At least there is no social life. Then spend your time in the presence of God. At the time of isolation, surrender yourself totally to the will of God. So you can know what he wants you to know there. It's a place where God gets your attention by force. Because there's no other thing that takes you away. We have so many things we take it about we forget some special things, some important things. Are you getting something this morning? Yes, and when you get, when you pass the test of charity, you qualify to go to Sarifa. Don't venture to go to Sarivat if you have no chariot experience. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Mm. Amazing. Throughout this period, because for three and a half years, the man didn't come, which means chariot experience was three years, uh, Sarivat was six months. Can you see that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ravens will come, but they are not permanent. They are for a season. Some blessings are for a season. Make good use of that season. Thank them and don't become, don't hate them when they stop coming. It isn't that they didn't like you. It's just that their grace is finished. God, who brought them into your life, will not end their helping period if he has not prepared a better one for you. Rise up, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glorious Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for this great day, O oh Lord. We ask, O oh Lord, for the spirit of obedience to rest upon us for absolute miracle in our life. I declare today, may the anointing of God for obedience rest upon us in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Your helpers are coming, the ravens are coming, the ravens are coming, and you shall drive, you, you shall drink from the brook. And if even when the brook dries, there is an authority. May God bless you. May God favor you. Receive the blessing. Receive the anointing. Receive greatness of God in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. As you support the work of God, may God support you. I declare Father's favor upon your life. I declare Father's favor upon your life. May God empower us to obey the instruction of the living God, to obey the word of God to obey God's instruction for us for our daily lives in the name of Jesus. I declare anointing for obedience oh Lord concerning our intimacy with God. Anointing for obedience concerning leading our children the will of the Lord. May God release it and I command may God grant you help us in the name of Jesus. You will not lose the presence of God. God will be in your home. God will be in your life. Prosperity will be yours because at the presence of God there is gladness 
and so shall it be. Release the blessing of God upon our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You shall not die but live to declare the works of God. You will go from glory to glory, from power to power. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen.